Hi my wonderful people, how are you doing? How have you been? It's me back again with another exciting ex episode here at Dog TV Kenya. And today I'm in Gashie, Kiambu County. People, I'm feeling your love. And I'm visiting quite a young man and I'll let him introduce himself and what he does and his dogs and we'll get to hear his story into breeding dogs. And also, have you subscribed? Do not also forget to hit that notification bell to get notified every time we upload a new video. This is your girl Linda Kenyatta and this is Dog TV Kenya, the best documentary channel for all dog lovers. Mario, yes. welcome to the show. Introduce yourself and okay. tell us what you do. Uh, my name is Mario Davis Kimani. Kimani my son name. So uh, I do breeding, still schooling. And uh, this is MD Kennels, fa Stroke Farm. So I start uh, breeding dogs, dogs for show, sure, and uh, they're all registered. Yeah. How long have you been keeping dogs? Uh, I would say since when I was very little. Nikiom dog sana. When I think I was in, when I think eight years, that's the time I owned my first Russian Mountie. Yeah, that uh, that uh, was uh, when I got my my first female Russian Mountie from my grandma. So I uh, know that is the way the passion of dogs came. I used to see my garden at Kizifagilia. I don't want to touch. But I was not that at much into dogs. So uh, now I know that I was in when I was at around 15 years. That's that's where I got my first now German registered East African Kennel Club. I owned that German with now like the good teaching of how to handle dogs this guy uh, is a man i very uh, i respect him very much he has uh, he has played uh, also a bigger role into my life he's a nigerian guy from nigeria called mr odingwa dr odingwa uh the dog you see here the his father now his father won the east african kennel club german league august 2016 that time was 16. So you see the difference, and uh, the, the, and still I was young, you know. So after winning the show, like he was very uh, harsh on me with dogs, cause he says, uh, Mario, I want to, I will be coming every Saturday to look for the dog I gave you and to see how you are, you are taking it, because I don't want the dog to go. I'll uh, it a bit me to in short. So I used to also wake up early in the morning to go at the give them the breakfast, do the chores of the dogs, you know. So, after all that, now the passion of dogs just, he can in gear. Um, now, your mentor, at what point, how did he come to gift you with his puppy? Okay, there's a time uh, we had gone, we own a hardware somewhere in Gashi. Now the guy came, wanted uh, Darugo Mawe. Now, the man was like, uh, uh, Mr. Kimani, I need you to come see. The place I want you to come build uh, my fans because there are people who are coming in. So we went. I found so many dogs, like 35 dogs. I was like, wow. So oh, oh, when it comes to your mentor, at what point did it reach that he gifted you with a puppy? It is the time he came at our hardware. Mm -hmm. He found my dad. Mm -hmm. He said, uh, Mr. Kimani. I need you come and uh, measure where we can, uh, how we can do the fencing of the Darugo stone. Eh? Uh, the girl, my dad was like, okay, yes. Uh, we went because I was uh, introduced into the hardware, very young still. Uh, me going there, uh, I, found, uh, I found dogs, so many dogs, like 35 dogs. Uh, I was like, they, they barked at my dad, but for me, they never. So like I was like, ah, what's in any fungue? I opened actually, and the 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 man was like, ah, Mario, oh, 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 they will eat you. And the dogs were like, they were jumping at me, licking me. Then the man was like, what has Mario done to my dogs? Cause they like him. Then I was like, uh, Mario's that he's passionate about dogs. Dogs uh, love him. Even if you do any attacking, it won't bite him. You know. So the, the man was like, ah. Like I'm a to me a kid to Hapa. The man was like, I was like, my dad was like, Apana, he's that way. He loves animals. So I was like, I, I want one. 
please please i want one ndadi ni bayedu gimoja please and i even cried actually remember and uh, the man was like okay come on saturday we'll talk we'll have talk with your dad and also you don't leave him kimani and on that saturday came we went i was very happy I even woke up the first one so like my dad, I even woke my dad and come my dad remember we got to go to doctor odingo to see him me went we, we we talked for like i think two hours showing me how you should be doing how should uh, how you should uh, take takes the responsibility by yourself usfanyo na mtu mwingine so uh, me me was like okay yes, i will i will do it i will commit myself tukenda kwa kennels i saw the puppies i said uh, uh is uh, this a puppy so it was like the big one he said me on that one he was like brutus I was like uh, who's brutus <laughs> you know at sikoni mzee kuona dogi kinemi wa jina he was like uh brutus yes i was like yeah 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 um uh, he called his gardener took the dog then i was told i was given actually a cage a small cage then i was told i will give you one kg of pellets then i was like okay fine I was also given a leash and now that's the that's where the time i now started being a, a serious man in the the dogs now we came back home we had not even had a had to go na kennel uko the first kennel was a, a small a small kennel the, the one you've seen there now that's where i kept brutus until we won the show now that time at he, he used to come each and every saturday to come see the dog ah uh, he was like mario i'm coming tomorrow he was very harsh at me because he, he never wanted to see a dog not eating so like um the man was like he came first time he was like Oh but do you nangalia dog then I was like yeah I'm, I'm still looking after the dog yeah the dog is nice he told Kimani uh, my dad actually he told Kimani uh, Kimani your boy is very committed he knows what he's doing let him be with the dog because my dad was like hataeza hataeza you know so uh, Saturdays kapita now on April 2016 still I was introduced to Keno Club I went first time I never went with the dog I just I had gone only to see how people handle their dogs how can you know how can you club works you know uh on april i saw people yeah i never saw young people there i just saw b- b- old people you know <laughs> in keno club you would find people young youngsters but for now i see i try i see youngsters are now coming into the dog breeding so i was like nitawezana huku na wazee then i was like I'm seeing other dogs which I've never even seen. This was Jumini I had only seen German Shepherd, Boer Bell and the Caucasian. Hey, I'm even seeing other dogs I've not even seen. Like the Great Dane, hey, it's big. Ikipanda mtu unaona, eh, hey, dogi hapana eh. Hey. So I was like uh ah, ni sawa nitasukumana nayo. And I'm guessing at, at, at that point you were how old? I was 15. Yeah. So like 2016 ikingia 2016 sindio September 15 so August ikingia hivi sasa ndio dogi imepelekwa training ime chapo training nyingine nzuri sana because also the, the dog was like nice because at some point your dog ikime grow it was another dog a must be a good dog so we went for the show on August I remember I woke up early I was told uh, the man told me tomorrow do this wake up groom your dog uh give it some meal before we go and uh, carry your, carry the water for the dog hey, to kaenda we i found so many people actually there so many dogs and so many people seated there on the benches waiting for the dogs hey, me was like my time came i was number 12 i was like number 12 i was like i was very nilikuwa na ogopa in short because skoni mzoea kuona my confidence at that at that time i was very uh, I was very young then kupatana at watu wengi you start at doing this I was not used to that so like um my team came I was told by the guy I won't take your dog you're the one to do the the they are taking it round uh, I took it for three times uh, by the grace of god Marshall was alikuwa ananisikia 
hakuna nasikia mtu mwingine do you see these dogs like zinanisikia if i tell them this way they hear me mashon comes ngukusha mara ya kwanza ya pili ya tatu then the man called me there at the center look at the dog miss kwa na jua naandika nini because you have to write some stuffs skujual kwa naandika nini eh kaniambia but tell him to sit he sat uh, showcase the legs tone you know in a german shepherd you have to like kurudisha mgundi on the slightness eh hey, akona the slightness wako wako zile za kaito hiyo jamaa wanamsaidia alikuwa na microphone come stock is really nice akaipiga picha love me ni kambio sir it's fine thank you eh hey, tukan ko show ikisha so watu wame showcase dogi zao mimi naona tu eh hey, naona kwa that dog imepigwa yani dogi kitembea hivi pepo inachafua hiyo nyole inaona tu kasema wa ya disjukanta shida hadi disjukanta onekana kwa list but anyway with the grace of god mr odingo after show me isha akaitwa so hiyo time ilikuwa kuonesha na nani mshindi dingo akaitwa yeah he was called now the man was like kuna onongea kwa maskio he was like he pointed me like okay i do not know the what they are talking but me go after na na i am not like sijashinda then the, the mr odingo called me uh, because they, they first announced the people who have won so I was told come with your dog any kapanda place no number 1 2 and 3 i was like then place your kupanda dog then i was like kangalio number nikambi upanda hapo any kangalio number then i was like number 1 Then he came to some badge here. Then the guy was like, uh, "You've just won this." Mister. Oh. On that was on 2016. I'm very young. Still, he may introduce you into these stuffs when I'm very young. I was like, I was like, uh, it's me. I'm proud. Dad was there. He was like, "Hey, Mario, I'm proud of you." Now, the, now that's where I started the breeding. He gave me. I mean, he put here two dogs actually. And that's now the point I have grown myself with these dogs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And when you, when you when you say you won like were there any training involved with the with the dog yeah, yeah. and were you were you did you train the dog yourself? No 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 the man because I was very young I was not even I had not even gone the classes at kufunza dog how to to sit to yani to to to, to train the dog. So the man called his own trainer. Mm-hmm. Did paid he, he paid all all stuff. Mm-hmm for me mm-hmm. because he had seen also this man can go far with these dogs mm-hmm. and at this point can you train your own dogs do you yeah, do you do you I, tra- I can train mm-hmm. because i also i was i've done training to most uh, my friends mm-hmm. i don't even charge i would i'm i do I, okay whenever i'm training a dog i don't train to get money mm-hmm. because right now people just see money comes first but if you look at this dog you're training it am said here but this indio I'm giving you I'm passing a knowledge and to you sindio kuna jagani nikulipishe hadi when ki train dogi you supposed to be there I'm like whenever you're training if it's sitting you just kama kwa german you have to like you have to have a snack whenever iki sit unamfinya tu hapa nyuma pole pole not like beating you just tell it slowly itaka then you uh, appreciate it kucha papa kifua kidogo because they feel like that's the place to like to hold them like to appreciate them mm-hmm. so uh, my dog the one I've trained it is uh, it's a pitbull mm-hmm. and uh, it's in the form of kinangop mm-hmm. but for now if I I've started training this one mm-hmm. because I want to, even if it's old I also I know how to handle them because mm-hmm. me don't see the po- even if mkisema dog itashika I have I, all, I find my own time take them with the dog hata kama it will take me some months to train it mm-hmm. I know the dog will itashika because in the german german is so he has that small small mind like he, he, from the others if you look at the bobel bobel seems ginger kuliko german german is more advanced because this this they wame barikio na kitu kidogo you know yeah oh, currently how many dogs do you own and which breeds are they shepherd doberman yeah and pitbull Yeah. So uh, how many of them? Uh in Kinangop we have like 15 of them. Yeah, yeah 15 of them, mm-hmm. but the other ones are the other ones in Zakweka and Zakulinda ngombe. Yeah. So me want to remove that mentality at. Si lazima upate pesa. 
just take care of the dog because me me i would say they have given me money they have done a lot you know they have also paid my school fees mm-hmm. still mm-hmm. uh it's not a must i pesa ikuje just stay with the dog you know mm-hmm. have the best dog have the pure breed mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. to maintain this dog it's use money you know uh, how many times do you feed your dogs and uh, how what is their diet like okay for the adults mashon neha i feed them at the evening but for the puppies you have to feed them two times in a day because this, this is just a small pup you know when uh, you wake up give them eggs with some parrots uh, or rice or just uh, the witter bix and the biscuits and milk yeah and um and to the big ones uh i do give them chicken heads yeah whenever they are available to me your advice to the breeders don't give your your dog at a young fupa cook it can destroy the teeth of that dog actually you've mentioned that and you've reminded me of that story you were telling me with the puppy what happened this is the time we had uh, we had we had uh, like seven pups here yeah then to go to meet kuku then my mom was like uh ina tupia dogi now the puppy went took the bone it could crash the the mfupa it can get kwa juu you see so like the dog was wandering imefura left in na mogamate yani ina katu like it's it's like ina jikuna hapa ina ski tu na ski melia then i called the vet she was like mar this dog ime iluma mfupa ikakatikia hapa it is a ilikuwa mfupa kubwa actually e ime fura mfu ime kula ika mfupa imevunjikia hapa so the thing i will do i would ntaidunga shindana kulala then we we straight to remove the pup then the mfupa yeah the bone if ikikata tutaipeleka westlands ifanyo surgery nuz like surgery yule pesa ingie mimi pesa ingine <laughs> you know then I was like dog akaidunga akaifungua nini akaifungua mdomo kujaribu kutoa niko na ime damu imetoka hivyo mimi nikaanza kusikia kizungu nika toko na machozi because I love animals uh, yeah no i understand now when it comes to uh, your dogs and uh, maybe you've had a litter and you've sold the litters and with your attachment to your animals like do you do follow ups with the pups do yeah, i do follow ups it's a must if i give you if i sell to you a puppy all all people have sold to i have to follow up whatever you're doing are uh, you giving this puppy food if you nikipata upati food i'm gonna take it and return the money as a young breeder what are the challenges that you've come across with rearing and keeping dogs okay the challenge i do face in my kennel one thing is is feeding dogs eat mm-hmm. they dearly eat they wanna kula pesa in short mm-hmm. because uh, you will find uh, the guy you expecting him to bring the food is mm-hmm. maybe delaying the food with like four days and this dog these dogs you can't let you feed them uh, with only that rice mm-hmm. you still have to have that meat 2 grams so that is the one challenge i face mm-hmm. food and uh, the other one is vet you will call maybe for now the place i've reached i know who who is a qualified vet and who's not a qualified vet because uh there's a vet would come do tell you this and this and i've i start i've already studied the dog see what he wants you know so you i would also know who you who you the kind of person you are if you are a good vet you know yeah so uh, you're 20 years old you in school yeah. and uh you you running the kennel and the other aspects of the farm yeah. how do you manage that uh for one thing i have a guy mm-hmm. with the time i'm not here i'm in school mm-hmm. the guy uh, looks after my dogs mm-hmm. i believe him because he also love the dogs mm-hmm. hi my people my day at gashi is coming to an end and i'm coming with some very I'm going away with some very important lessons. First, it's 
it's nice to have a mentor somebody who sees the capabilities you have and holds your hands along the way like uh, somebody held Kimani's hand here and led him into his love of dog also to the young people man are you feeling challenged because i'm feeling challenged i'm still young <laughs> so um, i hope you've liked the episode i hope you've subscribed and also do not forget to hit the notification bell to get notified every time we upload a new video this is your girl linda kenyita and this is dog tv kenya the best documentary channel for all dog lovers until the next episode see you